Hello and welcome. In this problem, we're finding two binomials that multiply to the polynomial below. Um, so we're going to talk about this problem, but I suggest you pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so there's lots and lots and lots of ways of solving these kind of problems. Um, in this problem, what I'm going to point out is I notice that we've got a 4 here. In other words, a is 4. We call this, this number here this coefficient, the number being multiplied by the variable x squared. We call it a. And the next coefficient we call b. Notice that b is 4. And we call this constant all by itself, right, c is negative 12, uh, the constant or c. What do I notice? Well, I notice that 8 and negative 12 can be thought of as multiples of 4, right? At least negative 12 is a negative multiple, I guess. What does that mean? That means that I can factor out 4 to simplify this thing. So I can say 4 times x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equivalent. How do I know that? Well, if you work backwards, you can see 4 times x squared, that's 4x squared. 4 groups of 2x, that's 8 groups of x. And 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. What this allows me to realize, and the reason I like to do it this way, is because now I can just factor out what's in these parentheses here. And I would draw an area model for that. That's my technique. And I'm saying that this area of this squarish rectangular, rectangle shape here, excuse me, is literally x squared plus 2x minus 3. And to factor this, I'm going to find these side lengths here. So let's say we have x by x, that gives us x squared. I would just start with that variable. Then I put my constant, negative 3, here. Now, negative 3 is prime, uh, or at least 3 is prime, right? So the factors of negative 3 are 1 and 3, uh, but one of them has to be negative. In order to get the negative product, one has to be negative. Which one do I make negative, 3 or 1? Well, I know that I'm going to have to add them eventually to get the 2 here, the b term. And that means that since b is positive, uh, the larger factor has to also be positive. So positive 3 and negative 1, that gives us a positive 2. Why do I have to add them? Well, if you think of the total area of this trinomial, this piece right here is 3x, right? 3 times x, or this x right here, because it's this area. And x times negative 1 is negative x. The trinomial is this total area. So if I was to simplify it, you see you have x squared here, okay. These two terms are like terms. Add them, and we add negative 1 and 3. That's where the addition comes from. It gives us 2x. And negative 3 is here. So to get the total area, we have to add each piece. And I notice that these two terms, they add up to the middle uh, value down here, the, B, the bx value. OK, what am I talking about? Well, here, we're trying to factor this trinomial. And we just did it. This side length times this side length are the factors of x squared plus 2x minus 3. So altogether, we still have our 4 there. It factors down to 4 times x plus 3 times x minus 1. And we can change the order of these terms. Let's see if we have it exactly. We almost have it here. Uh, it's 4 times x minus 1 times x plus 3. So we just switch the order of these two binomials, and that's fine. All right, hope this helped.